All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 31st of October on Sunday. So this is Sunday and happy Halloween to everyone. So uh, yeah, so today's Sunday. So I will cover the Forex pairs and commodities, including gold and WTI oil and also indices for next week. We'll look at the weekly chart today and see bigger pictures and see what's happening right now and what might happen for next week. And also I will cover the news for next week and that will be the whole topic for today's live stream. So uh, yeah, I have been unwell uh, for the last couple of, couple of days, I think three or four days. And today I feel a bit better, so I decided to do live, but I'm not fully recovered. I'm not, I'm not fully recovered. I'm only like up to 70%. I still have a bit cough. And also uh, in the morning time, I had the fever, a bit slight fever. So uh, I think this live stream will be a bit less, uh, less time, maybe 40 minutes, 45, 45 minutes and uh, just end the life. Yesterday was completely off. I was completely dead yesterday, but today it's a bit better. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. So let me turn on the page. All right, and just a quick disclaimer. This information today is um, basically based on my own understanding, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do add in risk. And also, since this is live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that will be great. Because after all, all here to learn. All right, so let's turn to the trading view. All right, so first I will cover the Forex pairs. So every day I monitor and watch these 21 pairs on the right side. So I will focus on the weekly chart and cover all these pairs first. So let's get started now. Thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you. Great to see you here and happy Halloween. All right, so uh, first I will cover Euro USD. On the weekly chart, the market is about to break the Kumo. So last week I was talking about this market and also mentioned about the Kumo breakout, but it didn't happen last week. So next week, if the trend can be continuous downtrend, then that will break the Kumo. And next week onwards, the market could go downwards. So that means if you see the selling edge sell chance in the lower time frames next week, that will be great. My view is the bearish side on this particular market. Right? And also the next one is Euro AUD. Euro AUD was bearish last week. And this is now below the Kumo. And Kumo is pointing down, Kijun sends down. Chikou span now came below the candles. But we have to be careful if the market is breaking the previous support level at 1.5267 level. So I have many lines, but I'm talking about the support from the March uh, this year. There were twice support, supports here at 1.5267. So that will be an initial target. And if it breaks, the market will continuously go down this way. So Euro AUD, I will be looking for the sell chance next week. Moving on to Euro Pound. Euro Pound is also bearish. Now the Kumo flat, sorry, Kumo's down. Hejun Sen is down. Tenkan Sen is down too. And the Chikou Span below the candles. So this is a nice downtrend and we can continuously look for the sell chance. And if you sell next week, then the initial target will be the previous low from February last year, which is around at 0.8282 level. So I will be looking for the sell chance on Euro Pan as well. And moving on to Euro JPY, this is now retracing or a bit ranging right now. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou Span touching on the weekly chart. And the Kijun Sen flat, so the market retraces backwards. It touched, it almost touched the previous high on the weekly chart, but uh, now 
Last week was bearish, and looks like the market is going down to the Kijun Sen. So, in case you're looking for the selling edge in Euro JPY next week, target should be on the Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. Otherwise, uh, we better stay away. And the Euro CAD weekly chart, this is downtrending now. The Kumo's down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, and the Chikou span below the candles. And you can see the previous support here at uh, 1.4317 level. Or more precisely, if you just put the weak low from the support on the February last year, this is at 1.4256. So last week was bearish, and it looks like this was an engulfing breakout last week. So EuroCAD, I'm looking for the sell chance next week as well. And expect the market breaks the support level next week right and moving on to euro this front this one is bearish last week especially friday was strong bearish trend but now it's going down so this time the target is going to be on 1.05037 so i think this is also a nice pair to look for the sell chance next week right and moving on to the next one use usjpy this is now bullish still. Last week was bullish, last, last week was bearish, but now we still see the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, and the Chikou span above the candles, and the market is still potentially breaks a resistance level. So I will be continuously looking for the buy chance on this one. If the market is going down in the lower time frames, most likely I won't sell because weekly shows its uptrend. Always better to follow the higher time frame directions. If weekly chart says up, then you better follow the uptrend. You better wait for the uptrend in the lower time frames. So the next one is USCCAD. All right, USCCAD weekly chart, this is now flat. You see the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, which span has been tracing the previous candles. So there's no trend and no trace. Last week and last last week were doji candles. So there was no direction on this particular pair. USCC's run, this is now in the P wave. As I have, me I have been mentioning earlier, uh, the, uh, the, uh, for this week and last week, uh, this is in the P wave, and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikosman has been overlapping with the previous candles. So this is now ranging. But the thing is that the market is at the previous, uh, at this, uh, trend line so uh, next next week could be bullish so next week could be bullish and it might go up to the upper part of the p wave so if you have if you see uptrend next week that buy will be a right call so the next one is pound usd so pound usd has been ranging the whole time so uh, I have been pretty much staying away from this pair. The Kumo's flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span is too close with the candles, and the market is within the Kumo now. And last week was bearish, but uh, we didn't see the strong bearish trend last week. Daily chart also ranging, so we better stay away from this one next week. And the Pound JPY, this one is also now flat as per Ichimoku. Because the Kumo is flat, you can see that the Senko span B is up, but Senko span A is flat, and overall Kumo is in this case flat. And you see Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both flat, but Chikou span above the candles. So the market is still bullish, the equilibrium is on the bullish side still, so the market could break the upwards. But since we see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, it might trace back to the Kijun Sen. Or Tenkan Sen. So we can't tell which way it goes. So uh, technically, we have to. Well, I would wait until the market breaks the previous resistance level and also the Doji candle from last week, which is on 158.23, and then look for a buy chance afterwards. Otherwise, it might be traced back to the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen or it might be in a range and it's kind of difficult to capture which way it goes so uh 
yeah, unless the market breaks that level, I would just stay away. Okay, so let's move on to the pound AUD. The pound AUD weekly chart is now flat still. We see the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is still flat, and the Chikou Span is getting closer to the candles. So in terms of Ichimoku, this is flat. But in price action, this is bearish. You see the price has been, market has been on the reverse in the wave, and now this is going down. So uh, we can, in this case, we can follow the price action or the wave analysis and expect the market continuously go down this way. So the target is in this case is going to be a single span A level. Um, or sometimes when the Chikou span touches the previous candles, the market start to bounce up like this. So next week might be flat or range and next next week might be bullish unless the market goes down continuously. So uh, I think this is not really, uh, if this is downtrend, so we can follow downtrend in the lower time frames. but in terms of weekly, it's difficult to see which way it goes. I mean, it might turn bullish anytime soon next week, so just watch out. Next one is Pound CAD. Pound CAD is now flat ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span touching. So last, last week was doji, and last week was bearish, but overall market is ranging. So we don't know which way it goes. So basically staying away is the key. The next one is Pound Swiss Fran. This one is also flat as per Ichimoku. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Chikou Span came below the candles, so we can still see the bearish trend. So next week could be bearish. It might go down to the single span B level next week. Um, but since this is in the Kumo, it might turn bullish anytime soon. So unless you see downtrend in the lower time frames, you better stay away. Or you better focus on other trending pairs in the market. Uh, Pounces front could be a bit tricky next week. Moving on to AUD USD. Uh, this one is also within the Kumo now and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And the market retraces back to the Kijun Sen now. So from here, it's difficult to say which way it goes. Last week, last last week, or actually for the last month, in the month of October has been bullish. But uh, since this is still within the Kumo, the market might be traced backwards soon or it might be tricky. I mean, uh, the lower time frames might be spiky ups and downs so this is bullish in the lower time frame so you can still look for the buy chance but um uh it might turn anytime it might turn bearish anytime soon so with that in mind you can trade otherwise you better stay away it might be tricky also within the kumo here and the next one is AUDCAD. this one is bearish and one thing that is significant here is that the market touched the Kijun Sen here. So last week was bullish, and but now overall market is bearish still. It's bearish as per Ichimoku because we see the Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, and Tenkan Sen flat, but Chikou Span is still below the candles. So and last week, the market touched the Kijun Sen, and when you see this, oftentimes the market will be rejected and it goes down this way. So I expect next week will be bearish on this AUDCAD. So I will be looking for the sell chance in the lower time frames. But if the, if the market breaks the Kijun Sen next week, then the market will be in a range and Kijun Sen will be flat when it happens and the single span A tends to be flat also. And the market will be completely in the range and I won't trade in that case. So I will be looking for the sell chance and AUDCAD next week. The next one is AUDJPY. AUDJPY is bullish now. The market slightly broke the previous high over here at um, 85.79 level. It broke and um, I think this is now a bullish trend. 
The Kumo is up, but the Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou Span is breaking the candles. So this is now turning bullish. And also last week, I see that there was a Doji candle. Sorry, last, last week is Doji and last week is bullish. So if the market breaks the previous uh, two weeks back Doji high, which is at uh, 86.29, if the market breaks 86.29 level, then the market will be bullish continuously. So you can wait for that to happen next week, or you can still look for the buy chance and expect the market breaks the resistance level and the market goes up strongly afterwards. So I will be looking for buy on AUDJPY next week. And the next one is AUDCS run, and this one is ranging and flat. The Kumo is up, but this is too small, so this is not trustable. And you see Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen is up, so this is also a sign of range. And also the market is within the Kumo now, so most likely the market might be a bit tricky. So I don't think I will look for any trading edges. But in terms of the price action lines, one thing I wanted to mention is that you can draw the horizontal horizontal line over here on 0.6893 level so this is actually the reversal line because previously there were uh, there was a resistance and also support and now this time it was rejected two weeks so next week if it goes bearish then it will break the Kumo and it may continuously go down but Next week, if the market breaks that level or breaks the previous high, then it might turn bullish. But until the market goes either way, we have to be holding. We have to do nothing. We have to yeah, do nothing until either scenario happens. Because after all, the market is within the Kumo now and it might be tricky in the lower time frames. The next one is CADJPY. This one is also bullish trend. Uh, the Kumo single span B is up, single span A is flat, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat. So basically, this is flat. So in this case, I simply wait for the market breaks the previous high of 93.08 and look for the buy chance afterwards. Um, so uh, three weeks back, the market broke the previous high here at 91.24 and last week exactly bounced at that level so from here it might go up on this end wave like this way so uh yeah if i see the uptrend next week and lower time frames i will be looking for the buy chance all right so let's go to the next one cadc run this one is now ranging. We do see Kumo's up, and also uh, Kijun Sen is uh, sorry Tenkan Sen is up, but the Kijun Sen is flat, and Chikou Span is with the candle still. So in this case, Kumo angle can be fake, and the market might trace all the way back to Kijun Sen. So we have to be careful in this case. There is no trend and no trace. And lastly. In the Forex pair, I will talk about the Swiss run JPY. This one is bullish now. The Kumo's up, Jun Sen, Tenkan Sen both up, and the Chikou Span above the candles. So now this is bullish, and I will be looking for the buy chance next week. So it looks like in terms of weekly chart, we have many trending pairs. So we can monitor next week and just follow the major directions. So next, let's go to the gold. XAUUSD. All right, XAUUSD on the weekly chart has been ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat the whole time. Chikou Span is still tracing the previous candles. So I think this is still flat ranging and there is no trend. But uh, if you look at it closely, I think Chikou Span will be the key to read how the market will move next week. Because Chikou Span is here now and uh, Chikou Span has been tracing the previous candles. And next week, next, next week, 
But actually, for the next four weeks, we'll be bullish. So, as long as Coldspan traces the previous candles, the market should go up in this way. So, in terms of Chikospan strategy, this is bullish. But in case you see the Chikospan breakout next week or next next week, that will be a sign of the continuous range and you better exit or you better do nothing when it happens. So I think Chikospan on the weekly chart in gold is a key. Um, whether the Chikospan traces or not is a key. But uh, direction-wise, this is flat, so next week can be flat. So we have to be careful, uh, as there, there is no trend in this kind of pair. And also, um, I do see on the weekly basis, there are wicks up and downwards on the weekly chart. So I can see that this market is very tricky these days. So uh, you have to have wide stop loss, and uh, you have to be good at risk management. To trade on gold recently. Moving on to WTI. Yeah, WTI oil has been up trending continuously. So the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both up, and Chikou spun above the candles. And last week was bearish, but I do see continuous uptrend and uh, there's, there's no sign of retracement. So I do see that the market is going up. So next week could be bullish also on the oil in terms of Ichimoku viewpoint. So now, let's move on to indices. So first, starting from Nikkei. Nikkei chart is now flat. Um, there is no trend. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikospan touching. So this is a typical range market, and it's hard to read which way it goes in the long term. Moving on to Dow Jones. Dow Jones broke the previous high last week and now this is continuously bullish. I have been saying the Dow Jones has been bullish last last week, so this is now still bullish. It just broke the previous high level, 25,649, and now it's going up. So there is no sign of retracement, so basically we can follow the uptrend continuously. And the next one is um, NASDAQ. NASDAQ is also bullish now. The market broke the previous high, and now it's bullish. The Kumo's up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou's from above the candles. So in this kind of condition, as long as the market is above the Tenkan Sen, it's bullish. But once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, that might be the end of that trend. So we have to be careful for the retracement, which might happen anytime. And the next one is um, S&P. All right, uh, S&P 500, this one is also bullish. You see the Kumo's up, Tenko Span B up, A up, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both up, and Chiko Span above the candles. And this is actually the same for all the US indices, but the Kumo shapes are very thick and long, right? You see the Kumo shape, you see the Kumo is very thick now, and it's pointing up, and... Uh, Nasdaq is also the same case, and S&P 500 is also the same. The Kumo is trending up nicely. This shows the continuous uptrend on the, on, the, on the long term. So now that the market broke, the resistance level 45.54, I expect next week will be bullish continuously. And the next one is uh, Euro stocks. Euro stocks also broke the previous high slightly, but this breakout a bit shallow. So next week might be bearish, but uh, this one is also the case. As long as market is above the Tenkan Sen, it's bullish. So next week could be bullish trend on onwards. So let me just mark this one also. And the next one is FTSE 100. Yeah, FTSE 100 has been up trending. I have been talking about the FTSE 100. Uh, 100 is bullish trend while it's ranging and now it's bullish and I do see the Kumo's up Kijun Sen has been moving up and it's close when it's above the candles so I expect the market continuously goes up next week this is now bullish mode and the next one is CAC France 
Heck France is now flat ranging still uh, because the Kumo's up, but you see the Kijun Sen flat. So when you see Kijun Sen flat like this, the market can retrace anytime soon. So it may retrace next week and it might touch a Tenkan Sen and continuously goes up is one of the scenarios this way. Or simply next week could be bullish and once the market breaks the previous high over here which is at uh, 6907.57 level if the market breaks that level then that will be continuously uptrend so uh, yeah we have to be careful in the retracement in this particular index but overall market is too bullish mode right and the next one is uh, DAX index DAX is now flat still the Kumo Senko Span B is up but Senko Span A is flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both flat and the Chikou Span is, uh, is very close to the candles so this is flat ranging so it might be traced backwards anytime soon and next one is Nifty chart so Nifty is now flat now turning flat the Kumo is up but uh, the Kijun Sen became flat now so next week we better see if the market will break the Tenkan Sen or not if next week close will below the Tenkan Sen like this which, which will be bearish candle then next next week onwards it might be traced back to the Kijun Sen so uh, or if next week will be bullish then that will be bounced by the Kijun by the Tenkan Sen sorry by the Tenkan Sen and the intensity goes up this way so we're not sure which way it goes still in this case so next week we better hold and see if it bounces by the Tenkan Sen or Breaks the Tenkan Sen is the key for next week. And the next one is AU200. This one has been ranging the whole time. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, and the Chikou span is getting closer to the candles. So now this is ranging, and I don't see any sign of uptrend, unlike other indices. And lastly, I look at the Hansen. Hansen is also ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and looks like market retracing back to the Kijun Sen on the weekly chart, which is 26,595. So next week might be bullish and retraces back to the Kijun Sen in this particular market. Okay, so that's the whole overview for the indices for next week on the weekly chart so now let's review the news for next week so let's see let me set the date for next week so that will be yeah that will be from 1st to the 5th in November all right so and in terms of forex pairs or any news in the market we have we tend to have many big news in the in the beginning of the month so in that sense next week we have big news everywhere so we have to be careful for the retracement or or the volatility next week so next monday november 1st we have retail sales in germany so your pairs can be affected and also, we have a uh, ISM manufacturing PMI in the US. So, US dollar can be affected by this. And then, technically on Tuesday, in, um, in the Asian, Asian session, there will be a policy meeting in Japan. So, JPR pairs can be affected. And also, rate decision interest rate decision in Australia so AUD can be affected by this and then also technically on the 3rd November 3rd on Wednesday in Asian session uh, there will be unemployment rate in New Zealand so NZD be watch out 
And then we have a um, uh, ECB, uh, prison regarded speech will be there. So Europe here is going to be affected. And also next week, one of the highlights will be ADP and employment rate and employment change in the US. So USC can be affected by this new turnout. And also we have a uh, ISM services PMI in the US. So US data can be affected. And most importantly, there will be Fed's interest rate decision and monetary policy statement in the US on the same day on Wednesday. So we have to be careful for this news also. And moving on to the first Thursday, we have trade balance and AUD, which can be impacted. And also, we have many news next week. So also we have in in UK policy meeting and also interest rate decision. So this can be affected uh, next Thursday. And also we have um, Governor Bailey speech in in UK. And also we have ECB present regular speech in Euro. So Europe pairs can be affected by this one. And also Friday, we have more news. In Friday, we have policy statement in Australia and retail sales report in Euro and non-farm payrolls in the US. And then, uh, let's see, unemployment rate in Canada and net change in employment in Canada too. So we have many big news. So uh, of course, non-farm payrolls, right? Non-farm payrolls in the US on next Friday is the highlight, but we have many other big news on each country. So uh, always before you take trades, make sure to watch news beforehand, just in case if there's big news, it can impact the market. So just watch out that there will be a big news. And if there is, then simply stay away. It's my advice. Okay, so that covers the whole topics for next week. So let me come back to some comments and just do some free discussion until the end of the, uh, the live stream today. So uh, once again, thank you for joining everyone. This is 31st of October. So yeah, and uh, thanks for your emails and comments about my health condition. Yeah, yesterday I was totally down, so I wasn't able to do any live streams. But today I feel much better, so I'm doing it, but still not 100%. It's like 70% recovery now. So uh, yeah, I think this is due to the change in weather in Dubai. It's getting cooler now, and also we have like sunstorms in Dubai, so that's why maybe. But uh, after I recover, then uh, I should be good always. All right, so yeah, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you once again. All right, so let's see. So let me cover some of the comments now. All right, Euro NZD. All right, Euro NZD. Let me check. So, uh, all right, Euro NZD. Let me just um, put that one here because I don't trade NZD pairs. So it's not on my watch list. But let me get that one right now. All right, Euro NZD on the weekly chart. This is bearish. Yeah, it's bearish. The Kumo's down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, and the Chikou span below the candles. So this is bearish. So next week can be bearish also. Um, let me squeeze the chart and just make sure that if there is no previous support. Okay, so the previous support is all the way down at around this level here at 1.5238 level. So we have a big target in this particular market. I think this is a good one to look for the sell chance next week. And also what I like about this market is we had this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross below the Kumo. 
which is also an indication for its continuous downtrend. So the market can be downtrend continuously next week. Yeah, but for myself, I don't trade NZD pairs because simply I haven't backtested my strategies and also um, in NZD pairs, in my broker, the spread is high and market tends to be volatile in lower time frames and that's why I'm kind of staying away. Yeah, thank you for joining everyone. I start to see some comments and yeah, I am feeling much better now. Not 100%, but it's coming along. Thank you so much on your uh, comments and emails and uh, messages. I really appreciate your supports. Yep, yep, all right. Thank you for joining, everyone. Good to see you. Yeah, I have covered gold already. Gold is now ranging, so we better stay away, basically. Miguel says, you often say a market is retracing and later you will be looking for the buy or sell chance, but you never say what reversal sign for trend continuation. Um, yeah, so reversal, so what I mean by retracing is only on one single time frame. So let's say if I see the Euro JPY, I see the market reversing, retracing backwards now, because I do see retracement over here. And the overall market is ranging, so I don't follow the weekly time frame. I don't see any sign of the weekly chart, whether it goes up or down. Um, so that's why I say I look at the lower time frames because in the lower time frames it should be downtrending as per Ichimoku. So for example, if you look at the daily chart, um, daily chart is now still flat. Let's say in forward chart, in forward chart is now started to go down. The price is now below the Kumo now, so it's started to be downtrend. And let's see, in one hour chart, it is also flat. So in the weekly chart, it's retracing backwards because we were seeing a bigger picture like this in the weekly. But if you look at the forward chart as per Ichimoku, this is now turning bearish. So once the market breaks, the previous support level, which is 131.55, then I will, sorry. I will start to look for the sell chance. I will start to look for the sell chance based on the forward chart, not on the weekly time frame. Because weekly time frame, once again, is now flat, ranging, retracing. So I don't see any clues in terms of which way it goes. But if I drop down to the forward chart in this particular case, I see the clue. I start to see the clue. Once the market breaks the support, then it will go down this way. So, I think uh, that will be a great timing to sell, but uh, that will be the topic during the week, and that's why I don't really talk about it today. Because today is the weekend, so the topic is mostly on the weekly time frames. But um, let's say if you see the pair on the weekly is trending, so let's say a uh, good example would be Euro CAD. You can see Euro CAD is trending down on the weekly chart, the Kumo down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, and the Chikou span below the candles. So I expect the market go down bearish. So uh, whichever time frames you look at in the lower time frames, sooner or later it will point down because this is downtrending. So in the daily chart, it is down. You see Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. In the forward chart, it is flat now. It is flat. And in one hour chart, it is bearish. The price is now below the Kumo. And in 30 minute chart, this is also downtrending. So, and that's why I say on the Euro CAD, I continue to look for the sell chance next week. Because I see downtrend on the weekly time frame. 
So after all, the, the Forex trading is all about the probabilities. And myself is a trend follower by using Ichimoku in multiple time frames. And that's why in my live stream, I say that. But uh, if there is no trend on the weekly chart, then there is higher chance that the lower time frame also could be range. Or even if you see downtrend, let's say in one hour chart next week, if weekly is flat, one hour chart downtrend can be turned to bullish trend anytime soon, which can be very tricky to trade. So that's why I say I will stay away. Yeah, I think uh, so. The key to success is to follow a trending market from higher time frames, and that's why uh, my talks on my YouTube is all based on this analysis. Of course, in Ichimoku, you can trade in the range market. You can take Kijun Sen as a mid price, and you can trade in the range. For example, if you see the range market uh, somewhere here. Uh, you see, every time the market breaks the Kijun Sen, it retraces back to Kijun Sen. When it breaks the Kijun Sen, it retraces back to Kijun Sen. And when you draw the horizontal lines, like up here, resistance line and support line, every time market reaches to resistance and support on the range market, you can sell or buy. You can go against it, you can sell at the top or buy at the bottom and uh, target to be Kijun Sen in this kind of range market. So technically, Ichimoku also offers a range, ranging, uh, range trading strategies, but uh, once again, myself is a trend follower and that's why I don't really talk about that strategy. Yeah, because uh, after I became a trend follower, my performance gets much better. And otherwise, I wouldn't be able to move to Dubai. So that's why I prefer to see myself as trending pairs and just follow the trending markets along the way. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what, what else we can find here. Archback says, uh, yeah, I do use the XM trading is my broker. XM is my broker. All right. Yeah, Euro USD is now ranging, so we better stay away. We have to wait for the Kumo breakout, and then we might see downtrend. I will just put the arrow this. So, yeah, let's see if it goes. Um, let's see, Kohan says, Hi, is it possible to draw a permanent support and resistance lines? which stays here on the chart. Um, I do draw the support line, resistance lines, but as, mar as the market goes, I delete and redo the lines. Because no market is, you know, reacts the same support resistance lines. So as the market goes, I delete, erase, and draw the new lines. Right, Lee says, hope you're well, Kay. Nice to see your channel growing. You deserve all rec recognition. Don't know, uh, don't know what your crypto knowledge is. Worth looking into and planting few seeds in future, Kay. Sure, sure. Yeah, crypto trades. Yeah, because I I do the GTS. GTS is a global trading school, and in that GTS class, there are a couple of crypto traders recently. So now I'm starting to interest in the crypto trades too. So uh, maybe in, in the future I might be trading cryptos, but uh, not now. I have to study 
and backtest until I get confident. Yeah, thank you for joining and thank you uh, for your comments about my health condition. Yeah, it's recovering now. It's like 70%, uh, but it's coming along. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess I will be do I will be ending the live now. I do see many more comments, so after this live stream ends, I will enjoy the chat comments here. But uh, I'm having a throat take still, so I will just end the live for now. So, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching until the end. I hope you have a great weekend. And also a uh, great Halloween. And uh, hope we capture some night tips next week also. So until I see you next week, next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.